Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. Shall I offer you a mint? No, no, no. I'm not saying that your mouth smells like downtown plumbing. I'm just trying to be nice. After you've disarmed a clothespin, look for a few coins in your wallet and choose the one you like best. Take our very powerful super glue, use it to apply the pen to one side of the mint box. We will also paste the coin we've chosen to the part you see on the screen. This terrifying syringe will help contain the force of the chemical reaction that'll occur when we hit the magic powder compartments. This will prepare the hammer mechanism. Now, we only need to prepare the fuel and the firepower. That was very fast, wasn't it? This invention is simple, but it'll be a lot of fun. Plus, you'll have to be as fast as me because today I've prepared a ton of them. You've won the lottery of inventions, my friends. Simply press and release so that the movement triggers the magic dust and our projectile flies. It's got great power. You can knock down anything from plastic cups to, I don't know, maybe a bear. Anything is possible. Do you think it would leave a bruise? I'd like to use it to train my brother to get me a snack when I tell him to. And stuff like that, you know. But I don't want to leave any evidence. You're only allowed to use it with towers of cups or empty food cans. If you use it against any living being, I will find out and I will tell your mother. The following is more than just an invention. It's a little tip that could save you if you get lost in the forest, jungle, or supermarket one day. I will teach you how to filter dirty water, as it is done in Mother Russia. We'll simply need a roll of super absorbent three-ply toilet paper. Put one end in the dirty water container and leave the other end hanging into the empty glass. This way we'll obtain an effective system, cheap and certified for survival to obtain clean H2O. Water, didn't you study this in elementary school? Simple, easy, and for the whole family. For the following invention, you'll need a soda cap. Like this beautiful red Coca-Cola cap, which we'll make a couple of holes in. One large one in the center and a smaller one just above. We're going to put nails through these holes. First, insert one from the front and then get a toy engine like the one you're seeing on the screen. Put one of the pivots in the remaining hole and fill the inside of the lid with a lot of hot glue. Make sure nothing comes off. Even Superman can't take this off. We'll need to eat a popsicle to be able to use the stick. Cut off the rounded ends and continue cutting it into very small pieces. Once we have six of them, glue them one on top of the other until you have two piles of three pieces each, which we'll attach to a pair of school scissors, those with the rounded tips so you don't get hurt. Apply hot glue to the inside of the larger handle and attach the piles at each end. You may ask, how are we going to use the scissors if we glue those pieces of wood right where we stick our fingers? And I, in my immense wisdom, will say, what does it matter? I mean, you won't need to use your fingers. After gluing the wooden bridge, seal all those spaces you see on the screen with all the hot glue you have. Now, I will ask you, why move our hands to cut the paper if we have technology? If you agree with me, gather all the electronic components that I am showing you and let's walk into the future. Connect the cables to the motor and the switch the way you see here. Let's start with the red wire that will attach to one of the small pins on the motor, then the black one to the switch, and so on until you have assembled the circuit. It would be very boring for me to narrate the rest of this simple step, so instead, let's get to know each other a little better. What music do you listen to? I listen to everything, but if you ask me which is my favorite, I would say soul rock, which is a bit more laid back. After our short but pleasant conversation, let's glue some small mints to the engine with a little hot glue, and we will eat two while we go. Once attached, place more glue on top of the mint container to attach the scissors to it. Do the same with the switch and the battery. What I would have given in elementary school for automatic scissors like the ones I'm teaching you to make. It was so tiring to open and close my fingers just to cut out pictures for my homework. With these scissors, you'll be the fastest paper cutter in the old wild west. The history teacher wants a picture of Christopher Columbus. The biology teacher needs a picture of a cell. Do you need to crop your ex out of a family photo? With Creator King's automatic scissors, you'll get it done quick and easy.
no ordinary piece of paper will resist. Leave a like and subscribe in the next two seconds and get the satisfaction of helping us grow. For the last invention of the day, we'll need a long kitchen lighter. Get your Swiss Army knife and take out the small piece that comes in the corkscrew section so you can remove the screws and dismantle the lighter. Remove each one of the pieces until you can open it without any problem. From inside, we'll need to take out the fuel tank and the metal tube containing the pipes which will be key to this invention. Pull the wires out of the metal tube and remove the plastic covering that protects them. Once we have everything we need, disconnect the supply cable from the fuel tank. This little hose will become part of something bigger. Take a can of spray paint from the nearest street artist and remove the nozzle from where the paint comes out. Enlarge the hole with a sharp tool so that the hose from a few moments ago can enter easily. Obviously, we'll need to seal the joint with some sticky substance that will harden over time and what would be better than our instant super glue. With our new gas supply, get a can of compressed butane, more commonly referred to as lighter fuel. Get rid of the cap and cut off the narrowest part of the pivot with pliers. Then attach the nozzle with the supply hose. The next step will involve a hot glue dispenser, so let's hope you have more than one on hand. Remove the screws holding the parts together and open it in half. Join the hose into these new components by inserting it through the hole where the silicone rods were inserted. Close the dispenser with all the screws again. It should be noted that some hot glue dispensers come sealed, so it's better to purchase one that is easy to disassemble. For convenience, attach the butane canister to the side of the invention with a few rounds of adhesive tape. Also, add a piece of tape to the gas outlet to prevent the flame from moving uncontrollably and igniting the entire room. Since we won't be needing this power cable anymore, let's cut it so it won't get in the way when we want to light the grill. I mean, the stove. Speaking of lighting stoves, we'll need an ordinary lighter to use our new homemade flamethrower. Once it's attached, it will be ready to incinerate anything you put in front of it. Look at that beautiful flame! All kneel before the eternal flame of Creator King or suffer under its infernal heat. <laughs> Seriously, we can't use it to melt solder in case we don't have a soldering iron. Look how quick it is! But don't get your fingers too close, because you could turn them into toasted snacks. I think I've ruined my floor. I hope my mother won't notice. Wait, I live alone. Huh. See how perfectly my flamethrower melted it? I liked it so much that I'll melt more. No, that's not the only thing I can think of doing with it. Let's see. Tell me in the comments how you would use it since you're so creative. If you continue to question me, I'll use my flamethrower in a slightly more creative way. And I'll blow a hole in you like I did with this poor Coke can. Burn before the power of my scorching flamethrower. <laughs> Smells like spare ribs. After several minutes of doing this, the aluminum can will start to give way and start opening. I hope no bank robbers are watching this. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.